like a boss. I need to go. What's up, ladies? This is Alex from Mindful Attraction 2.0. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about a very powerful way to in, to get to be get to get a player or any guy who's not committed to you to want to commit. Like a fuck buddy. This was this will make a fuck buddy want to commit. This will make a guy who doesn't really do relationships want to commit. And the brief the preface to the. The way that this would work is under the assumption that you guys, that he doesn't think that you, that you want a relationship. Because this is very interesting. So, the first thing you got to do, think about this, right? What do you think provides, when somebody breaks up with you, right? When somebody dumps you, what do you usually recall in your head? You see, you usually recall the broken promises. You usually do. Usually the things that hurt us the most about um, relationships that, that, that let us go are the broken promises. You promise me you'll always love me. You promise me you will always be together. You promise me, you promise me this, you promise me that, right? And so what happens? What do you, so why do, you, why do people go back to those promises? The reason why people go back to those promises is because words have a te certain tendency to excite. Words have a certain tendency to excite the imagination. So if somebody tells you, oh my God, man, me and you. For example, right, let me show you an example. If you if you're with a guy, right, and he doesn't know that you want a relationship, and you guys are in bed, and you guys just have sex, right, and you guys just look at him, right, and then you guys say, and then you say, man, me and you would have some amazing babies. My goodness, we would have some beautiful babies. Just to say it, like it's not even it's not even that you're saying it because you want to have a kid with him, right? You're saying it just to say it. And 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 and, and again, the only way this works is if he if you guys already have these have have a vibe of I, we just want this casual he has to really believe that this is really casual and that you don't want that you don't have any ulterior motives all right so if you tell him look man me and you will have a, me and you will make some amazing babies my goodness will be beautiful right let that go two weeks later say that again right i'm telling you this i don't know why but there's something about imagining about imagining having a kid with a girl that makes you kind of like them. I'm telling you this happened to me, man. Fucking bitch. God damn it. But it worked, okay? I'm over here, thank God. But it worked, though. It really, really, really works. Because it gets you thinking. And, and, and look, I'm not, a, I'm not, the, I'm not the, emo the most emotional guy in the world, right? But I know this, I know this is that when I started thinking about that, like, it, it, I started like, huh, that looks, yeah, that looks kind of interesting. Like, you really start, like, thinking about it. I'm like, oh, interesting. You're stuck already. You're fucked. You're really thinking about having a kid with this girl. And it's not even the fact that he, she's telling you. It's just she's putting it out there. And your defenses are down. You're chilling. You just, you just, you, you, you just um, you, you know, she, she, just, she just sucked your dick and said you feel good, right? You're in bed. You relax. And you say that. And now you just, you just imagine that. It's, it's a powerful thing, man. Like that, that simple thing. You don't have to. Again, the key to this is that you cannot, he cannot sense you want a relationship. And even better, he has to feel like you have your own boundaries. He has to feel like you don't want a relationship with him and that this is just casual. The reason why is that this enables him to think about it and entertain the thought without really getting defensive. Does that make sense? And also, it's important that if you're going to use this and you bring it up, you change the topic. For example, you could be looking at him. And just, just do it as though you're just looking like, oh my goodness, me and you would have, me and you would have some amazing babies. Yeah, I really would. Oh, huh. anyway, anyways, you, you, you change the topic. Like, don't be like, we have some amazing babies. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they'll be, they'll be blue and stuff and walking around. You know, they're going to have their little, they're going to have a little uniform. No, no, no. See, now, you, now you're talking crazy. And I'm like, okay, this chick is crazy. No, you say it and you change the topic. You see? And it has to be almost as though you just look at him like, oh, fuck. Like, damn. Like, like, almost as though it's a compliment to him, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so this is, uh, so I gotta let you guys know this, is that this can only be done when you guys have comfort, right? So you can't bring this up during, like, the, during the first two dates, right? No. Like, you guys m should have already had sex a couple times. Um, you should have already, you, when you say this, you want to be pushing him away, right? You want to be busy so that he's more receptive. Like, for example, before you even say this, you want to make sure that, that you've been a little hard to reach, a little hard to reach, you minimize your text messages and all that sort of stuff so that he gets a little needy. Again, this, this lowers his defenses. That's all you're doing. And then you pop this up two weeks later, pop it again, right? And I'm telling you, if, 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 if you include that with, a, like, with another, take, with a, with another like, subtle taking back of like, if you just take a step back 
when you do that. So, so you say that, right? And he's thinking about, oh, like, oh my God, that looks so. That, that we will have good kids. And then you take a step back. His imagination will will will, will go even crazier, and will create a, a, a fucking rea- a fucking fantasy in his mind. I'm telling you, man. This I'm talking from experience, right? I'm not just bullshitting, right? This is something that I, it may or may not work on some guys, but it may it will work on some guys too. You see what I'm saying? It's worth a try. Um, it worked on me. I'm just telling you guys, right? Anyways, this is Alex with MindfulAttraction.org. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle. He's a, he's a bad uncle. Get him. Shut up, Melissa. You should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create will be destroyed by the outside because your your fem, your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're going to be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you know, it, you know. Now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one would this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self-awareness, healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo- uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex- and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kyle Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace and even the dress code. They, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop destru- and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you, you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um nine at ninety nine dollars. Um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat. So I really, most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you could pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10-day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the, the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.